Hi, everyone. I'm in the UK at a polemics conference dealing with Islam, and I met my friend John here, who's an ex-Muslim, but I have to ask, how can you be, how could you have been a Muslim? Your name is John. Well, I am now a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ, and when I became Christian, I, um, I read the Gospel of John, and I, uh, I was in love with how uh, the John, the, the Gospel of John said, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh, and I chose to become John, a new God, a new faith, a new life with the Lord Jesus Christ. And so you're from Yemen. Why don't you go ahead and, why don't you just go ahead and uh, tell us how you uh, ended up leaving Islam and uh, becoming a Christian. So I grew up in Yemen into a Muslim family, uh, into a devoted to Muslim family. And my family taught me how to pray, how to fast, how to read Quran. And uh, 2014, I want to, I was doubtful about Islam because I felt there is no spiritual connection between me and God, the creator. And this is, we uh, ended up to go to Mecca. I was the luckiest one to go to Mecca, the house of Allah. And in Mecca, I was going around the block, uh, the house of Allah. And I, I realized this is human being made. This is not from God. Mm -hmm. And there in front of Kaaba, I uh, rejected Islam. I give up Islam from, in front of Kaaba. And that was very hard. Wait, just to be clear, you became an apostate from Islam in front of the Kaaba. In front of Kaaba, in the, in the front of the most holy place of Islam, the capital of Islam. Wow. So, uh, so uh, when, what happened after that? After that, I was agnostic for three years. It was the most hardest life in my, the most hardest three years in my life, because in Islam, as you said, if you are apostate, if you denied Islam, if you rejected Islam, there is a hadith: whoever changed his re religion should be killed. Mm -hmm. So I have to be secret for three years. It was very hard. Then I um, I left Yemen and I met Christians and they taught me about Jesus Christ and I started to read the the Gospel of uh, Matthew and the, the, the teaching of Jesus Christ, the Sermon in the Mount, and that changed my life upside down. I said, this is the God I'm looking for. Mm. This is the God who died for me and rose again. He's alive. He loved me so much that he died on the cross and rose again. So I gave my life to Jesus Christ. I became new, a new creation, a new believer, and this is why I chose the, I become John. And now God called me to, sh to share my faith with, with the whole nations and with my people, with Yemenis, because I always declare Yemen for Christ. Oh, they really need it down there. Of course, they, they need really, the Lord Jesus Christ. They really, really need it down there. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. need the Lord Jesus Christ. Abs Everybody needs the Lord. Everyone, everyone needs need the Lord Jesus Christ. Absolutely. So how can people uh, follow your work? So my name is John Ghanim on an Instagram. Uh, they call me TikToker John. Um, uh, and on TikTok, Facebook, uh, YouTube, John Ghanim. And I will put the links to all those in the description box. Thanks, brother. Thank you so much. Uh, it's an honor to meet you. And you are one of the uh, kafir, one of the most uh, infidels in the world yes. against Islam. The kafir king. <laughs> <laughs> God bless you. Thank you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Wow, imagine leaving Islam right there in Mecca at the Kaaba itself. You see, John was missing something. He was missing a connection with the one and only true God when he was a Muslim. That's because Islam doesn't have a connection with God. God is too majestic. God is too holy to even come down to earth to save lost sinners. That's not the God of the Bible. And John found that out. He found that out by reading the Sermon on the Mount and really truly understanding God's heart was about love, forgiveness, and kindness, and mercy. And Jesus even talked about loving your enemies in the Sermon on the Mount. Our brother from Yemen who was in Islam and couldn't have that connection with God. He didn't feel love from Allah, but he did feel love from Jesus. He found out the truth, that Jesus is the way, the truth and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by Jesus Christ, the Lord, the Savior of the universe. 
And when our brother from Yemen, John, found out this truth, he gave his heart to the Lord. You see, Jesus loves you, my dear Muslim friend. He loved you enough to become a man, to suffer on a cross, and to die for your sin, and to rise from the dead three days later. All so you could be reconciled and have a connection with God, just like Brother John from Yemen. So I encourage you, my dear Muslim friends, today to turn your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ and receive Him as your Lord and your Savior and be like our brother John. Leave Islam, leave Muhammad, and come to the one and true God, the God of the Bible. Trust in Jesus today, my dear Muslim friend, and you will never regret it.